Hi everyone! Today we'll be looking at IBM's plan to design solid state batteries using quantum tech. If you're new to this channel, welcome! This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. Be sure to stick to the end of the video and like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any one of our videos. As once a month, we share a community post that's exclusive to our subscribers, giving away some interesting prizes. It's only up for a few hours though, so keep a lookout. And without further ado, let's get into it. Batteries are the secret to decarbonizing transport, as well as the grid, but the infrastructure of today is quite a long way from living up to the goal. IBM seems to have determined the secret to overcoming the dilemma is in engineering skills. Lithium ion batteries are still the gold standard technology in this area, and they have come a long way. 10 years ago, they might only bring your iPod through the day. Today, they can drive hundreds of miles of high performance vehicles. Yet we need some breakthroughs if we want to hit a level where batteries will outperform fuel or store large quantities of solar power. So IBM has partnered up with Mercedes-Benz and Daimler, its parent firm, to create modern batteries that will fulfill our needs. Researchers showed a proof-off concept at the annual Consumer Electronics Show, CES, last week demonstrating how IBM's quantum computers could help develop cutting-edge solid-state batteries. We reported a revolutionary battery built of materials that can be mined from the sea at the end of last year, outperforming the technologies of today around the board. The following achievement was met with some doubt, as the organization decided to reveal it in a blog post instead of conducting studies. Even while critical information regarding the precious structure of the battery is left out, the specifications alleged are amazing. IBM claims its battery incorporates three innovative materials, which is not disclosed, that can be designed for a variety of specific attributes, including lower expense, quicker charging time, higher strength and energy capacity, energy performance, and low flammability. You will charge 80% in only 5 minutes when optimized for high voltage, which will follow charging an electric car as easy as fueling a gas tank. This will not equal the energy efficiency of state-of-the-art lithium-ion batteries, but it can outperform them when it comes to power capacity, which would be important for devices such as electric planes involving massive power outbursts. The structure, which is essential for grid safety, may even be optimized for a long life cycle. IBM was eager to highlight that this revolutionary product, unlike other current batteries, does not include any heavy metals such as nickel or cobalt, which are processed in potentially hazardous forms and sometimes in poor working conditions. The researchers suggest the materials may also be removed from seawater, but this would be possibly entail new technological growth. The researchers told IEEE Spectrum that they partnered with Mercedes-Benz R&D, North America, the Japanese chemistry from Central Glass, and battery maker Citus to start producing the battery commercially, which might come to life in one or two years' time. So this isn't IBM's only partnership with the German automotive manufacturer. Researchers at IBM and Daimler are also joined together to check the properties of three molecules that could interact in the application of lithium sulfur batteries utilizing the engineering giant's quantum computers. This battery chemistry claims to be more efficient, longer lasting, and cheaper than lithium ion technologies, which may also allow solid state batteries to be produced that are potentially lighter and more lightweight. Yet at this point, it's all new, so there are plenty of questions regarding how both of the elements communicate. Simulating the three molecules can help us to understand how critical properties such as energy conversion and discharge can influence their behavior, but it will require massive quantities of computational power. Quantum computers keep much more power potential to perform such kinds of simulations. This piece of work, though, was more of a proof of concept than an advance in battery design. The researchers claim in a blog post, as the simulations were performed and measured on both quantum and classical computers, the quantum tests came out positively, which indicate that they should be able to make significant advances in battery design as the quantity processors of IBM are more efficient. How long it will remain, unclear. But if we focus ourselves on battery breakthroughs to address the climate problem, it's nice news that Big Blue is on board. If you made it this far in the video, thank you, and welcome to the end of the video club. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of our other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity, and I'll see you on the next one.